Hi friends, Fagun Shah from Integration Lab. Today we are going to see something called custom code module inside Public Connect, which can run Python and JavaScript code. I have tried JavaScript code on my own, but you can try Python code as well. Uh, basically, we are going to use something called Cloudflare workers. And using Cloudflare workers, basically you can run any Python or JavaScript codes as a custom uh, code module and it is free as well you get 100,000 requests per day for free no need to add your credit card or any other details uh, you just create a cloudflare account go to workers set up your domain and yeah make sure that uh, you give it a rest for a few minutes because uh, it may take like uh, 15 to 30 minutes to actually run the first worker okay once the first one is ready i think so other ones are ready very quickly actually okay now we are going to test out two things one first one will be ju just hello world program which is inbuilt inside the cloudflare and second one will be something called uh, delay in the seconds i know that this is a this was a very popular request in public connect uh, group and uh, i implemented that in my workflow around one year ago uh, with the help of uh, ivan uh, he helped me to give the PHP code which I posted uh, set up on my shared hosting on SiteGround and uh, from there I was able to do the delay in seconds inside public connect right basically uh, I am going to show you the same thing and Ivan has yesterday I set up my code but then Ivan improved that code and given us the fully updated code right and we are going to use that particular code inside our video i will also put this code link inside the video description so you can use that okay mm -hmm. plus you shout out to ivan as well because he helped us so make sure you support him by buying him a, a cup of coffee right so yeah let's get started you create a cloudflare account if you don't have one then go to worker create a new one right and click on uh, create a service and let's name it p2 program to so select the http handler and then let's go ahead then you will be taken to this particular screen where you need to click on quick edit i am going through this tutorial as a non-coder i am not a developer so still i wanted to use this so let's see okay so click on save and deploy here you can see it should show us the hello world right and if we click on here save and send test right so it shows the hello world but this is inside the cloudflare we want to do this using public connect so what we are going to do is copy this url you can see the request type is get and we will go to public connect i have already created one dummy workflow and in here we will replace this url by p2 and let's see if it how fast it takes up yeah see the second worker uh, is set up very quickly and ready to use as well right so this is hello world for example you add one two three here save and deploy here save and deploy click send hell see it takes some time you know uh, one or two seconds maybe hardly okay so now we know that how we can run the javascript code now your question will be how we can pass the parameters to that particular code because obviously we need to pass some details to that code and then we want to run it right so the same kind of scenario happens when you want to use delay in seconds so basically what happens is probably minimum delay is one minute it is actually a minute change delay not a full 60 seconds of delay so what happens is that if your delay starts at 10 55 am 45 seconds then the one minute of delay will be completed as soon as your uh, the clock hits 10 56 a okay so that will be just 15 seconds of delay but you cannot specifically specifically set delay in seconds so publish maximum uh, timeout for a request is 25 seconds right but we are going to pass only up to 24 seconds in our tutorial okay so what you need to do is for using that kind of thing is you need to go to this particular link you need to copy this js code control a copy you need to go back here and replace this code okay now you can see here that uh, it is parsing min and max from the url parameters okay uh, this is a basic code not very fancy and uh, we will set this maximum limit to actually 24 instead of 20, 30 right and click on save and deploy now 
if you add url parameter in here minimum is equal to let's suppose we want to give 5 and we want to give max value of 10 seconds not more than that and then if we click on the send button you will see that it is taking much longer compared to hello world why because it is in the delay so it was delayed for six seconds and we can also see the values here right so we can just copy this url again go back in here mean 5 max 10 okay now i want to change it so 15 you can map this values dynamically by the way from above steps or whatever you like okay and you can also change it for uh, for each api step as well or for each uh, workflow as well so this is a fully customizable thing okay again it was delayed for six, six, six second and now we are again doing save and send test request to check five seconds this time let's do send here let's do send here okay six again this one i think so is going to take a lot longer between five yeah so it was uh, delayed for 14 seconds so it will generate a random value between 5 and 15 it also takes care of some age cases like someone entered uh, not a number value kind of thing in the max or something like that so yeah those things will be handled as will be handled by this code itself uh Ivan has taken care of those things right so yeah this is how you do the second uh, delay in seconds in public connect this is a very simple tutorial completely free to use you don't need to pay anything or enter your credit card details anywhere plus you also get to run any custom javascript code you want to run here okay so yeah let me know if this tutorial helps you or not right one more thing you can go back here and uh, currently it is not updating that much quickly actually uh, yeah so yeah but it is not still updating in here but you can see that total of 16 requests today out of uh, one lakh uh, total requests per day available okay so yeah i am going to delete many things of this so you cannot use other things from my account i am most probably going to delete this account itself so please don't misuse the things which are publicly available inside this video right and uh, yeah so this is how you set up everything you can create up to 30 workers in a free plan of cloudflare workers that should be enough for most of the users right and one more thing uh, i also you know like check if how much load it can handle and for that i what i did was uh, Actually, let me copy this and let's go to another workflow. Yeah, so I have already set up a Google sheet as a trigger, which has like 2000 rows. Okay. And if we go in here and choose the API module in here, let's see. Let me show you the Google sheet as well. So Google sheet has two column name and course, and it has total data of 2000 rows now what we want is that it should uh, you know generate this text but with a different delay in between between 5 seconds to up to 15 but actually let's make it 10 so it will be much more faster so between 5 to 10 okay and how can we like uh, test it with 2000 data in a short period of time so if we go to history you can see the last one was executed yesterday on the 10th of uh, august now we will go here in the extension public connect web hook and let's send all the data here okay so we are pushing whole data all the 2000 row data so here okay and if we go in here and we start refreshing this particular thing you will see that it is handling quite nicely because right so yeah right nothing is failing nothing is uh, going wrong it is just handling it quite nicely so yeah 
i am sure this tutorial will help many people and please 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 don't forget to support ivan for his uh, uh, very knowledgeable code and yeah he's a guy uh, i learn a lot from right so support him by buying him a cup of coffee okay and yeah you can see already 103 request right uh, yeah one more thing in case you get this kind of error at the bottom just ignore that error it is not doing anything wrong for me at least right so i hope it this tutorial helps you and if we refresh this page as well you can see it is still executing and if we go to a pay step 10 seconds maximum was turn by the way both are inclusive okay so five nine right so yeah everything is executing quite nicely and yeah let me know what you think of this and are you going to use cloudflare workers or not i won't be able to provide custom code support for anything because i am not a programmer right but yeah this will solve many issues for many people and especially for the people who want to like use delay in seconds okay uh, make sure you don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon okay uh, bye for now see you in the next video